about three dimensional shapes. To learn about 3D shapes, it will be much better if I differentiate between the 2D and 3D shapes. So 2D shapes are the shapes which have only two dimensions, length and breadth. And 3D shapes are the shapes which have three dimensions, length, breadth and height as well. Okay. So here, as you can see, shapes 2D and 3D. Which are 2D shapes? A square, triangle, circle, rectangle, hexagon, pentagon, trapezium, and there are many more shapes which are 2D, which have only length and breadth. And one more thing, all these flat shapes can be drawn on a flat surface. Then, what about 3D? 3D means three dimensional, which are having length, breadth, and height. As you can see over here, the first one shape that I have drawn, this is called cuboid. Cube, sorry. This is a cube. Because its length, breadth and height, all the three dimensions are of same as a and its each face. If you check each face of this, it will look like a square. So it's a cube which has length, breadth and height of same as a. For example, ice cube, sugar cube and the dice that we use to play. And this shape is called tetram pattern which is another name of a pyramid. Then this is the sphere. For example, any type of ball, globe and orange. These are the examples of a sphere. Coming to this shape, this is called square because its length, breadth and height all are of different measure and examples of cuboid are match boxes, your lunch boxes and some water tanks are also cuboid. This shape is prism which, which is commonly used in science labs. Again it has some length, breadth and height as well. This is the height over here. Coming to the last one shape, this is cone and you are familiar with this one because you are very fond of celebrating birthdays and you commonly use this birthday cap on that occasion. So this is the main difference. One more thing that I would like to discuss. It is not possible to pick all these flat shapes in your hand. But all 3D shapes you can hold in your hand like this. Because this shape has some length, breadth and height. 3D. All 3D shapes we can hold them in our hand. So this is the main difference between 2D and 3D shapes. Now after this we will discuss about the faces, vertices and edges of 3D shapes. Some of the 3D models or shapes have been displayed over here. And I have drawn some of these over here on the board where I have mentioned their faces, vertices and edges as well. Here the first shape is Q. It has 6 faces, 8 vertices and 12 edges. Now the question arises that what are the faces, vertices and edges. Now please have a look on this shape. This is called Q. The flat surface that you can see over here that is called face. Vertex wherever the two, three edges join each other. Okay. These are the three edges where two flat faces join each other and you can see a segment like shape over here. That is called edge. So, wherever three edges join each other, you will get a corner and this corner is called the vertex. So, in a cube, there are total six faces. One on the top, bottom, three. This is four, front. Fourth is at back. This is five and six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now about their edges. 
Here on this flat surface, you can see three set bands over here. It means on one face you are having four edges, four same way at the back. Okay, eight. Then to the left and right side because these have already been counted, so we will count only the little edges. One, two. Three and four. So there are four plus four eight and four. These are this total twelve. And how many vertices? As you can see over here, one, two, three, four. Four corners over here and four at the back. So these are the four vertices. That's why I said that a cube has six faces, twelve edges, segments, and eight. Vertices. Okay. Now the second is the second shape which is shown over here is a cuboid. It also has six faces, eight vertices, and twelve vertices. So this is a cuboid. Why do we call it cuboid? Here you can see both the shapes are almost same. The main difference is that in a cube the length of length breadth and height of each edge is same but in a cuboid the length breadth and height all the three dimensions are different but in some of the cases two dimensions can be of the same measure so talking about its faces edges and vertices again flat faces same way top bottom front back and two side faces total six faces then Eight edges, one, two, three, four, four at the bottom. Okay, sorry, twelve edges, four on the top, four on the base, and four vertical. So total twelve edges, and how many vertices? Total eight vertices. Four you can see over here, and four at the back. Now coming to the next shape, that is a cone. So you are familiar with that one? This is a cone. How many faces, vertices, and edges does it contain? So face, face means flat surface, and curved surface is also counted as face. But we have to specify that this is a curved surface. So in a cone, there are two faces, one flat and one curved. How many edges are there? Edge means where two faces join each other. So this curve and the flat face join over here. So it has one curved edge. And how many vertices are there? There is only one tip, one corner. So it has one vertex. Then coming to cylinder. So this is a cylinder, just like road roller. As you can see over here, it's round, round. Okay, so it has two flat top, bottom, and this lateral surface. So two flat and one curved surface. That's why there are total three faces: two flat and one curved. And how many edges are there? It has two curved edges, right? Now. Coming to the prism, this shape is called prism. Most of the time, you might have seen it in the science labs. This is the prism. It has a triangle base because its base is triangular, so it is called triangular prism. Okay. So how many faces are there? As you can see, one triangular face over here, one here. Two, three, four, and five. So there are total five faces of a prism, triangular prism. Then how many edges are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then three are there. Two on bottom and one on the top. So there are total nine edges. Then how many vertices are there? As you can see over here. Three corners are here and three are here. 
so there are total six vertices in a prism there are five faces six vertices and nine edges now next one is tetrahedron so in tetrahedron tetrahedron is a shape or a pyramid whose base is an equilateral triangle and its other three faces are triangular faces okay so how many faces are there in triangular pyramid or another name is tetrahedron there are total four faces one triangular base and the other three walls which are which are lateral faces then how many vertices are there vertices corners three at the bottom one at the top there are total four vertices and how many edges are there edges three on the base and three the lateral edges so there are total six edges now coming to the square pyramid so here this is the square pyramid why do we call it square pyramid because its base is square so all the pyramids are named according to their base if the base is triangle then it's triangular pyramid as we have already discussed in the sixth one base is triangle so that's why triangular pyramid its base is square so we call it square pyramid in a pyramid all the except the base okay the other lateral faces are always triangular and all faces join each other at the top in a corner so how many faces are there in a square pyramid one is base okay because it's square four sides so four sides are the lateral faces four plus one there are total five faces how many edges are there as you can see one two three four and four later total eight edges and how many corners or vertices are there four at the base and one on the top five so in a square pyramid there are five faces and eight edges then five vertices next is a sphere this is a sphere as you can see it is round round and round all over okay we don't know that where from which side we have started making this shape round round and round okay so how many faces are there there isn't any flat face but you can see it is having a curved surface that's why we will say that it has one face curved face then how many edges to get an edge we need at least two faces but it has only one face that's why no edges and no corners because it's not it is not containing any edge that's why it has no vertices so in a sphere there is only one curved curved face then no edges and no vertices so that's all in this session in the next session i will tell you how to draw nets of 